in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, well without end. Amen. Let us listen for the voice of the Lord, and enter, and enter into, into his, his peace. peace. Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Let us Let's listen, listen to, the to the voice of the, voice of the Lord, Lord and enter into, into his peace. peace. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Let us listen, listen for the voice, voice of the Lord, Lord and, and enter into his peace. peace. Come, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let us, Let us listen, listen to the, to the voice, voice of the Lord, Lord and, and enter, enter into, into his peace. peace. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, had in not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Let, Let us, us listen, listen for the voice of the Lord, Lord and enter into his peace. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said to the hearts of the spray, These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, Never shall I enter my rest. Let us listen, listen to the, for the voice, voice of the Lord, Lord and enter, enter into his peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let, Let us, us listen, listen to the for the voice of the Lord. Lord. And enter, and enter into, into his seat. To God with gladness sing, your Lord and Savior bless. bless. Within, Within your, your temple, temple bring your songs of thankfulness. O God, oh God of might, to you we sing, <coughs> enthroned as King on heaven's side. He created in his hand the heights, the heights and depths of earth. He made the sea and land. He brought, he brought the world to birth. To birth. O, God, o God, most high, high we are your sheep. On, on us you keep your shepherd's eye. Your, your heavenly, heavenly king will praise. praise. Acclaim, Acclaim his only son. Your, your voice a homage raise. To him who made all one. O dove of peace, on us descend, and strike the end, and joy shall increase. Lord, we proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night. It is too good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten string lie and the lute, with a murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your desires. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All those of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox his strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes look in triumph on my foes. My ears hurt gladly of their fall. The jaws will flourish like a palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to reclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my root, there is no wrong. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, we proclaim your love in the morning. And, and your truth in the watches, watches of the night. night. Proclaim the greatness of our God. 
Listen, O heavens, and I will speak. Let the earth hear the words on my lips. May my kitchen fall like a rain, my speech descend like a dew, like raindrops on the young green, like showers falling on the grass. For I shall praise the name of the Lord, who give glory to his God of ours. The rock his deeds are perfect, and all his ways are just, a faithful God without deceit, a God who is right and just. Those whom he begotten and blemished have become crooked, false, perverse. Is it thus you repay the Lord, O senseless and foolish people? Is he not your Father who created you, he who made you, on whom you depend? Remember the days of old. Consider the years that are past. Ask your Father, and he will show you. Ask your elders, and they will tell you. When the Most High gave the nations their heritage, and dispose men according to his plan. In fixing the boundaries of the nations, he searched for first of Israel's sons. For Israel was the Lord's possession, Jacob the one he had chosen. God found him in a wilderness, in fearful desolate waste. He surrounded him, he lifted him up, he kept him as the apple of his eye. Like an eagle that watches its nest, that hovers over its young, so he spread his wings, he took him, placed him on his outstretched wings. The Lord alone was his guide, and no other God was with him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, our prayer. Proclaim, Proclaim the greatness, the greatness of, of our God. God. How great is your name, Lord, through, through all, all the earth. earth. How great is your name, O Lord, our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You are found praise to fall your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and stars which you arrange, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you've made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him. You gave him power over the work of your hand. Put all things under his feet. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. How great, How great is, your, is name, your name, Lord, Lord through, through all the earth. earth. A reading from the letter to the Romans. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. My tongue shall tell the tale of your justice. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. Lord, guide our feet into, into the, the way, way of peace. peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who are his prophets from of old. O Saviour, who us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. We swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, who might serve me in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to these people their salvation 
the forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn of our eye. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, Lord guide our feet into the way of peace. <coughs> God the Father has adopted us as brothers of his only Son, and through the ages has slayed, stayed with us and kept us in his love. Let us ask him for the needs of the world. Lord, help us as we work. We pray for all who plan and build all cities. Give them respect for every human value. Lord, help us as we work. Pour out your spirit on artists, craftsmen, and musicians. May their work bring variety, joy, and inspiration to our lives. Lord, help us as we work. Be with us as a cornerstone of all that we build, for we can do nothing well without Lord, help us as we work. You have created us anew in the resurrection of your Son. Give us the strength to create a new life and a new world. Lord, help us as we work. <coughs> Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Us give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us praise you, Lord, with voice and mind and deed. And since life itself is your gift, may all we have and are is yours. We make our prayer to our Lord who lives and reigns with you, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safe today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us say the prayer for priests. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we thank, thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation, salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give, we give thanks, thanks to, to those priests who have brought, have brought us your word of truth the grace, the grace of the sacraments, and above all, the all supreme, supreme gift, gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, who called, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask, we ask you to raise up new and generous occasions for the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open their hearts of the new generation to your call, and, and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize, recognize the joy of giving their whole lives, lives and love. Jesus Through Christ, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives, lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. everybody. At the end of Mass there will be no exposition but we will do the Novena prayer prayer, and uh, after that we will leave and make room for the children who are doing their first communion. There will be no confession. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. First book of Kings. Leaving Mount Horeb, Elijah came on Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was ploughing behind twelve yoke of oxen, he himself being with the twelve. Elijah passed near to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left his oxen and ran after Elijah. Let me kiss my father and mother, then I will follow you, he said. Elijah answered, Go, go back, for have I found done anything to you? Elijah turned away, took the pair of oxen and slaughtered them. He used the plough for cooking the oxen, then gave to his men who ate. He then rose and followed Elijah and became his servant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are, you are my, my inheritance, inheritance O Lord. Lord. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I see to the Lord, you are my God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you your, uh, yourself who are my prize. You are, you my, are inheritance, my inheritance, O Lord. Lord. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. You are, you are my, my inheritance, inheritance O Lord. Lord. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You, you are, are my inheritance, O oh Lord. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Bend my heart to your will, O oh Lord, and teach me your law. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have learned how it was said to our ancestors, You must not break your oaths, but must fulfill your oaths to the Lord. But I say this to you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, since that is God's throne, or by the earth, since that is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, since that is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your own head either, since you cannot turn a single hair white or black. All you need to say is yes if you mean yes, no if you mean no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. In the gospel, once again, we are given the comparison between what was taught in the past and what Jesus demands now. Even in the Old Testament, oath-taking was looked at critically for the need to swear. An oath implied that you might otherwise lie. Jesus forbids all swearing of oaths in everyday life. Jesus' greater righteousness demands 
the unrestricted truthfulness of all human words. But Jesus goes further because he does not allow God's name to be invoked. It is a misuse of the holiness of God. Just speak the truth and let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Jesus links lying to the devil, the father of lies. In the history of the church, there have been many debates about whether lying is sometimes permitted and how far oaths may be used in law courts. But Jesus' requirement for entry into his kingdom is that we tell the truth and do not prevaricate. In a society where many people's attitudes to telling the truth is ambivalent, to say the least, Jesus' demand for truthfulness is a challenge to his church to bear witness to that greater righteousness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you forbade all swearing in the name of God and taught us to speak the truth without compromise. Give us the courage to avoid lies and send us the spirit of truth to guide us in our daily lives. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <laughs> Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you, holy people, he stretched out his hands as endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. 
And so the angels and all the saints will declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with John, together with Francis our Pope, Mark our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to request eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us to pray from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Dear sisters and brothers, we have come before our mother of perpetual health to praise God our Father with Mary and to thank him for the blessings he has given us through her intercession. Let us once more ask her to pray for us. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions. But in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. That we may be faithful to prayer every day of our lives that we may carry out faithfully the duties of our state of life, 
that we may have courage to face up to all our difficulties, that we may quickly return to Christ should we fall into serious sin, in misunderstandings with those we love, in times of sickness in the home, in worries about financial matters, that we and our young people may find a true vocation in life, that all may respect all human life and avoid the dangers of drugs and alcohol, that those who rule our country may act wisely, justly, and for the good of all, that we may see our daily work as a service to our neighbor, that the economy of our nation may improve and the dignity of human labor be restored to those who feel rejected, redundant, or unemployed. That we may be tolerant and charitable towards those who do not share our views. That all who suffer in mind or body may be comforted and if it is your will, restored to health. That our Holy Father Pope Francis may have light and guidance in ruling the church that all people may live in peace and unity, that our diseased relatives and friends may have eternal rest. For the intentions of all who are making the novena, and for our personal intentions, Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence we come before you to be inspired by the example of your life. We think of you at that moment when full of faith and trust, you accepted God's call to be mother of his son. Help us, your children, to accept with joy our own calling in life. When you learned that your cousin Elizabeth was in need, you immediately went to serve her and offer your help. Help us like you to be concerned for others. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony. But your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, help us to realize that we must expect trials and disappointments. Help us not to lose heart. May we share with your son the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, it is your will that we come together today to honor Mary as a mother ever ready to help us. May we who employ her motherly help benefit by the great gift of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen.